G'day GC fans and welcome back. Today's episode is about owning your first boat for your first time and it's brought to you by madmod.com. Uh, we're going to talk about getting your boat for the first time. Uh, there's a lot of boats out there, guys. Um, if you do a bit of research, it's good time to buy now and winter time because a lot of people don't use their boats in winter time and it's clearing up a lot of space. So, a good opportunity to get one now. Uh, recently I haven't been doing a couple of videos I've been so busy I've actually purchased a boat myself um, I bought myself a 14 foot 1986 I think uh, hands hunter uh, it was actually yellow when I first brought it um, and I actually painted it during the Christmas break I actually painted it but uh, all those people that have got boats and you know what it's like, um, it doesn't stop there. You're always buying this and you've got ideas and you fix this and uh, it just keeps going on and on and on. And um, there's a lot of money involved as well. But the good thing is that uh, once you've done it, you enjoy yourself and you hit the waters and you have a great day after all. Okay. the. Other thing, before you get a bow, the first thing you do is need a license. Now, different states have different rules of um, getting licensed. Um, so, if I think if you have more than I think 3.2 or 4.5 horsepower engine in some areas, uh, don't quote me on that, but um, just look it up. Um, you don't need a boat license, so you can get yourself a little tinny, a little motor and you don't need a license but if you're going for a bigger motor like myself i've got a 60 horsepower mercury engine uh, i think it's a 1983 horsepower one uh, then you need a license um, well let's get the start. question is how big do i need my boat well it's all up to you now if you're just starting off and you're a beginner i do recommend that you do get your license it's a good way because you learn all the rules, uh, you learn all the safety rules, all your markers. Uh, so it's very good to learn and get information before you hit the waters. So at least you've got a bit of knowledge and you can understand what's happening. Now, if you're getting a boat for the first time, you've got to think of, well, let's start small. Um, I've got myself a 14 foot boat and it's enough for four people actually um, so I do you know, fishing I take the family out to the beach so it's a pretty good um, little boat it takes me here and there and, um, and it's fun um, so yeah you just got to decide what you want to get and I recommend that for people that are just starting off and want to get a boat for the first time start with small because later on you can actually sell it and get a big one once you've got more experience and then you get the feel of it, um, then you'll get a bigger one. Uh, first thing that you look when you're looking out for a boat. Now, there is so many different prices, so you try to find yourself that you can afford. And once you do that, um, see if you know anybody that um, knows about boat. Uh, they can give you a hand. Uh, with tinnies, uh, you always got to be mindful that um, you know some of the areas are not rusted, so you won't get holes in it. And uh, with fiberglass, you don't want any holes, so you don't have to you know bother with actually patching it up. So it's only totally up to you what you want to do. Now, in my case, um, I bought a, when I bought my boat, um, it was in very good condition. The back of the boat was actually being fixed. Um, and then they painted it so um, if you decide to get a bigger engine your your back transom will hold the pressure uh, with my 14 foot boat the maximum I can go up to 75 horsepower engine 
any bigger than that, it will put a lot of stress on the actual transom and a lot of weight on the boat. So you've got to check your manufacturer to check if your engine is suitable for your boat. So yeah, so take it, be mindful of that and you know, check that out. I do always do a checklist. Uh, once I've got my boat, I've registered. Uh, I've done the course, I've got my license. Um, and then I do a checklist. Okay, so you know, you've got your, your boat, the number one. You've got your license, so you know all the rules and regulations of um, different states. Uh, you've got all the safety equipment. Uh, you know, your, for example, for your, your flares, your V flag, your life jackets, all up to date. And, and there's a must, and guys, I'm always saying this is a must, always carry a first aid kit, okay? Because you don't, the last thing you want is to get a uh, hook on your finger, and it has happened. Um, and at least if you've got a first aid kit, um, you'll be sweet. Uh, once you've got all that, uh, the other thing I'll do is uh, I call a mechanic. Uh, it's one of these uh, boat mechanics. Um, he actually checks us the boat and checks your engine as well. So he will do a service on the engine, uh, make sure it's running tip top shape. And the last thing you want is take a boat out and it just doesn't work. And um, it ruins your day, trust me. So the first thing I do is I call that guy to, get a, to do a service. Uh, once he checks that everything's fine, hit the water guys. All right, that's all we've got time for today. So hopefully this will give you some idea if you want to get a boat. Um, it gives you a couple of ideas. Um, but stay tuned, I'll be back. Uh, we've got a lot of things on this year. It's gonna be insane. Um, so I'll be back. Hooroo.